Hello, I'm Dr. Kim Gaida from Pullman Family Medicine, and I'm going to be speaking today about the use of telemedicine in primary care. This talk is part of a series of health tech talks sponsored by Pullman Regional Hospital's Center for Learning and Innovation. So I'm going to discuss what telemedicine is, why we use it, why we would not use it, and also some how-to tips for a successful telemedicine visit. So first I want to start with defining what telemedicine is. So this is a way to have a visit with your doctor from your home using video and audio connections. Since the COVID-19 pandemic, telemedicine has been widely used by primary care offices, uh, mental health providers, and also by specialists. At Pullman Family Medicine, we use telemedicine for many different types of visits, for medication follow-ups, for rashes, respiratory illnesses, mental health problems, even for managing diabetes and hypertension. So why would you want to use telemedicine? Well, one obvious reason is to avoid exposure to other people during a global pandemic. It's really helped providers manage sick patients that may have COVID-19 while avoiding exposure in the clinic setting, still allowing us to order appropriate testing and to keep tabs on our patients virtually while they're in isolation or in quarantine. Another benefit of telemedicine is the ability for patients who live in rural areas like Eastern Washington um, to have quick and easy access to care without the barrier of transportation, which can be really significant for some. It's also allowed us to care for patients in long-term care facilities who are particularly high risk for COVID-19. So what are the downsides or challenges of telemedicine? Well, anything that involves technology is subject to failure. Sometimes the connections are poor and communication is difficult. Not everyone has high-speed internet, especially in rural areas, so this can be challenging. Also, telemedicine is not appropriate for all types of problems. So we don't use telemedicine for more serious complaints like chest pain or significant shortness of breath. Um, some, and sometimes we even need to convert a telemedicine visit to an in-person visit if we just can't provide um, proper care virtually. So next we're gonna talk about how to use telemedicine um, to some things that you can do in advance to prepare for your visit. So I've come up with an acronym called DEMO, D-E-M-O, as a reminder for things that you can do in advance. So the D stands for device. So get familiar with the device that you're going to be using. It could be um, a smartphone, it could be a tablet or a, or a laptop computer. Uh, make sure it's charged. Make sure you know where the volume controls are and the camera controls. And if possible, familiarize yourself a little bit with the Zoom platform so you know where the buttons are for the microphone and also for the video. So E in the acronym is for environment. So you want to choose a well-lit and a quiet place in your home, free of background noise or distractions. Ideally, turn off the TV in the background. If you use hearing aids, make sure that they're in and that they're on. Um, if that's not working and hearing is difficult, you can have a family member that can be there with you to help you with communication. So M in the DEMO acronym stands for medications. If you take medications, uh, make sure that you have a list of them readily available, or you can just bring the pill bottles to your desk and have them right there for your, uh, you and your provider to review. And finally, O in the DEMO acronym is for other. So this is other data that might be helpful. So blood pressure can be really helpful. If you have a home blood pressure monitor, check it ahead of time, write the number down along with the pulse. Um, if you have a um, home oxygen monitor, which is a little device you put on your finger, these can, by the way, be purchased for about $25 at the pharmacy. Those can be really helpful if you have respiratory complaints like, like um, cough. Um, and if you're diabetic, make sure you have your blood sugar recordings or your blood sugar monitor handy so we can review the blood sugars. So, uh, so that's it for the acronym. So it's D-E-M-O stands for device, environment, medications, and other data. So I hope this has helped with your overall understanding of telemedicine. Thank you for listening. Um, please log on to the Pullman Regional Hospital Center for Le Learning and Innovation website for further information about health technology. Um, you can find me or my partners at pullmanfamilymedicine.com. And um, I hope this has been helpful. Thank you.